Hi, I'm Jerry. Thank you for visiting eMasterSoul. 5.1 is trending these days, and all of the major players are re-releasing their hits as a 5.1 master. So let's join them, and we can help you generate your song as a 5.1 master. We have five different vendors to post your work on, where everybody's familiar with them, Amazon, just to name one. You can download your music as a 5.1, play it on the home theater, an Xbox, or any other surround sound player, even in your car. So, let's do this. E-Master Sound has a Yamaha Nuage with two 16-channel faders and a master for transition editing, monitoring, and automation. A control servering greatly improves the workflow. The DAW channel strips have the best plugins for the associated instruments. Let's begin. This song has been transitioned from stereo to 5.1 surround sound. This was accomplished by highlighting the group in FX group, then holding down the shift while selecting the output in the inspector to the output routing. The VST multi-panner transitions stereo plugins on the inserts to the 5.1. Although you won't have the control over the individual channels like that of the surround sound plugins. This demonstration assumes that the tracks are in a wave format and levels are recorded at nominal and minimally at 6 dB giving headroom for optimum signal to the group tracks. This is a raw mix, and like the pre-production. Let's mix 5.1. First, kick inserts. FabFilter Pro Q3 is at the top of my channel chains. An 8 dB low cut roll off to 20 Hz to ensure no subfrequency rumble. The API 2500 adds clarity and punch while maintaining the musical quality of the mix now we have a solid kick, but the 2K pop isn't quite there, so the Empirical Labs distressor is known for distortion as well as extra punt. Two compressors in a chain is called cascading compressors. Kick VST multi-panner that's on an X and Y axis in a 2D surround sound. The low frequency effect, the subwoofer level LFE, is about the same level for overall balance. Snare insert. The EQ has a roll off to tighten the low end and a surgical cut for undesired frequency range. The Wave Vitamin is a multi band harmonic enhancer as well as a tone shaper plugin. This adds smooth, accentuating punches and dynamic to the snare spring delay. Snare drum multi panner is configured at 50% front and closer on center of the room. The Waves H Reverb 5.1 multi-channel processor has a snare preset and a personal touch for a sweet snare tail delay. This is a surround convolution reverb that delivers the sample sound of world famous venues and can even capture, import and create your own reverb spaces. Hi-hat, cymbal, overhead room and kit mix group. EQ has a 6 dB low cut roll off to 50 Hz with a flat to 20K. Added the Waze Vitamin Multi Band Harmonic Enhancer to add cymbal harmonics. Multi Panner has the hi hat and cymbals in the center of the room. Front is at 30% for high end ambience in the center speaker. Also, notice the LFE is at zero. We don't want to send high frequency to the woofer. X Insert Waves 5.1 H Reverb Surround Sound. Let's listen to the Sweet Blue Plate Special Drum Preset. H Reverb is a new FIR technology, which has equal time delay at all frequencies to form perfect gated reverb and dense tails. Bass Insert. Tweak the bass while listening to the drums. The kick in the bass should be the same level. I use the DeRoll meter with a hold to ensure that the peak is below zero and also no distortion. If the bass is recorded correctly, the only requirement is EQ. 
That's why I decided not to use a base plug-in. Typically, an EQ curve should roll off the 20 Hz to ensure no sub-frequency rumble. Then a gradual slope to prevent the bass from mudding up the mid and high. Funk and some hip-hop are exceptions to the rule where 800 to 2K pop drive the song. Bass multi-panner is centered at 50% front, side, and rear. The low frequency effect LFP is louder to match the kick and snare level. This is a rock ballad written for grand piano and guitar rhythm. The Nord Stage 3 Grand Sample Extraordinary Nuances and Real Characteristics are captured from world-renowned grand piano. The high-end EQ is enhanced with dynamics enabled at 2K. Acoustic guitar is layered with the grand. The acoustic plays the same mid-range notes of the grand. The 610 Modular Preamp listen to its startling harmonic detail and rich clipping characteristics and its ability to overdrive in a warm, ultra-musical fashion. Multi-panner is dialed in at 75% rear to separate the acoustic and the grand to create space. The front-rear divergence is at 50%. Note the center speaker is 25% of the grand and get. The LEF is balanced to the woofer. Grand Piano Multi-Panner is at 75% front, left, right. The front rear divergence is 50%. You can see the Grand is opposite of the acoustic guitar to define their own space. Both are sent to the same reverb where some might think it's one instrument. Nicely done. 5.1 surround sound is a 2D layer cake made by instruments contained in the associated frequency layer. For example, low, mid, high frequencies on separate layers. The frosting is the processor effects between each layer. Rhythm Guitar Crunch. The EQ slope is tailored to a crunchy guitar sound with dynamics enabled to enhance frequencies above 800 Hz. This is a good practice to bring the instruments forward. Once again, if the guitar instruments or any other is recorded well, you don't need amplifier plugins unless you want to change the sound entirely. The multi-panner has a 25% rear divergence to separate sound in the rear of the room. Strings are laid back in the chorus. The EQ has a 6 dB low cut roll off to 100 Hz to define the string space in the mid range area. Also, note there isn't a signal to the center or woofer speaker ensuring a mid range guitar presence. Metal League Guitar. This is recorded perfectly, so just an ambient 3 dB dynamic boost at 2 to 3K to help bring the lead forward. Let's check out the awesome chord B3000 delay. Sync the delay time to the song tempo for the best results. Artists and producer presets are a good place to start, but listen and tweak until the sound is there. The lead guitar multi-panner is 25% front divergence. The guitar delay multi-panner is 25% rear difference for a great surround ambient experience. Good rule of thumb, adjust the level of the lead instrument to the same level as the lead singer so the transition is smooth. Vocals are the most important track in a mix. The singer should be up front and center. The FabFilter Pro Q3 dialed in to elevate vocals over the instruments. The UAD Manly Box Box is my go-to for vocal channel strip, but in this case, the onboard EQ is disabled as we already have the Pro Q3. Wave H Delay is synced to the tempo for lead vocal echo when automation is gained. Vocal backups use the same EQ and Vox Box preset because the same vocalist sang the chorus. To fully appreciate 5.1, a quality surround sound effects plugin is required to deliver impact to the song. The sync tempo with the one second decay envelope forms 
the right ambient tail to brighten vocals throughout the entire song. Vocal backup duplicated tracks with a little D chorus, smooths, and blends chorus together.